Hey guys, today Apple has released iOS 26.2 RC2. Yes, iOS 26.2 release candidate number two is now officially available to registered developers and public beta testers simultaneously. Now, the reason this typically happens is because Apple wants to address either some security flaws, bugs, or perhaps any issues within the operating system before an official release. And that's definitely the case here. There's two changes happening with iOS 26.2 RC, second RC, that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Now, updating from RC1 to RC2, the download was a little over 500 megabytes as you can see right there on this iPhone 17 Pro Max. As we go into settings, general, about, and take a look at the iOS version, you see right there, the latest build number for RC2 ending on the number 5.4. Now, I still believe Apple could release iOS 26.2 for everyone to download here later this week, but we'll talk about the expected release date. Obviously, the second RC could change things a little bit here, but we'll talk about that here momentarily. The first thing I want to talk about is one critical bug that Apple has addressed with RC2. Now, let me show you here. I have RC1 running on this iPhone here on the right, and of course, RC2 on the left here. So let me show you the bug. So if I go on RC1 here for iOS 26.2 and I go into edit mode and grab this widget around just like so, and then I release the widget and tap here, it crashes the iPhone. And this sort of bug or issue was sort of gaining traction online. And it appears that Apple has noticed and they wanted to address the issue. As you can see right there, I can do this and then just sort of tap here and it just always crashes the iPhone. So take a look at the same scenario here with RC2 for iOS 26.2. So this is something that Apple has definitely addressed here. As you can see here, I can move the widget around just like same behavior, tap, it does not crash the iPhone. Let me try that again. Let me show you, just go ahead and move the icons and move the actual widget, tap, and it does not crash the iPhone. So definitely more stability here and definitely addressing a bug in iOS 26 with 26.2 RC1. You see the iPhone is still loading here. So that bug appears to now be addressed and fixed here with the second RC for iOS 26.2, which I'm happy to report. Now, something else I've noticed is slightly tweaked here, and this is very subtle, but if you're paying close attention, you notice that the drop-down menus on RC2 have a darker tint effect applied to them. So if we tap on any of these drop-down menus, if we take a look here at RC1 on the right, and RC2 on the left, those drop-down menus ever so slightly, a little bit darker tint effect on these drop-down menus and sub-menus within the OS as well. So keep in mind, both of these devices are running clear liquid glass effect under display and brightness, and yet it appears that a slightly darker tint effect has been applied for drop-down menus on the RC2. So now let's talk about when we can expect the official final release. Now today, Apple has officially announced that starting next week, Monday, December the 15th, Apple Fitness Plus will be expanding to 28 new markets, including Chile, Hong Kong, India, Japan, Netherlands, Singapore, and Taiwan, and they will be adding doubling for Spanish, German, and a Japanese language as well. However, various reports suggest that Apple could release iOS 26.2 alongside the expansion to Apple Fitness Plus next Monday, December the 15th. However, as we look over this report, it looks like in order to take advantage of these new expansions, you only need iOS 26.1, not iOS 26.2. So with that being said, I believe Apple could still release iOS 26.2 for everyone to download sometime later this week, perhaps on Tuesday or Wednesday, or even as late as Friday. Friday this week on the week of the 8th of December. If not, then obviously Apple will most likely release the official final release on Monday, December the 15th sometime next week. So I'll keep you guys posted, but it looks like iOS 26.2 RC2 was addressing some of those tint issues within the sub menus and drop down menus, as well as that bug that I just demonstrated just a couple of minutes ago. So I believe the software could release later this week. We'll keep you posted. If it doesn't, then obviously expect the software to release on December the 15th alongside Inside the Apple Fitness Plus expansion. Thank you for watching this quick update, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.